యాక్చువల్గా మేము ఎప్పటి నుంచో అనుకుంటున్నాము విమెన్కి అంటే మేము మేము కూర్చొని మా డైనింగ్ టేబుల్ల దగ్గర మా ఇళ్లల్లో మా ఆఫీసుల్లో కూర్చొని ఏదో మాకు మేము మాట్లాడుకుంటూ గొణుక్కుంటూ ఫీల్ అవ్వకుంటూ ఇలా ఇలా జరుగుతుంటుంది అనమాట అంటే ఎప్పుడు మనం బయటకు వచ్చి అదే మన మన సమస్యలు కానీ మన ఇష్యూస్ కానీ మనం మాట్లాడుకోవాలి మనం చెప్పుకోవాలి అన్న ఒక సందర్భం ఎప్పుడు రాలేదు ఈరోజు మేము ఆ సందర్భం క్రియేట్ చేసుకున్నాం దానికి మీరు రావడం మాకు నిజంగా ఆనందంగా ఉంది అయితే మొట్టమొదటిగా కేటీఆర్ గారు మీరు ఒక పొలిటీషియన్ ఒక లీడరు ఒక మంత్రి ఇవన్నీ అందరికీ తెలుసు కానీ మీరు ఆల్సో యువర్ అ గ్రాండ్ సన్ మీ నాన్నమ్మకి అమ్మమ్మకి యువర్ సన్ టు యువర్ మదర్ యువర్ హస్బెండ్ యువర్ అ ఫాదర్ యువర్ అ బ్రదర్ ఇన్ని రోల్స్ మీరు ప్లే చేస్తున్నారు ఇంట్లో ఐఎమ్ ష్యూర్ గ్రోయింగ్ అప్ నుంచి ఇప్పటి వరకు కూడా మీ పర్సనాలిటీ డెవలప్మెంట్లో కానీ ఈరోజు మీరు ఈ స్థాయిలో ఉండటంలో కానీ మీ ఐడియాలజీ ఫార్మేషన్లో కానీ మీ వ్యక్తిత్వ వికాసంలో కానీ మీ ఇంట్లో ఉన్న ఆడవాళ్ళు ఎంతో కొంత రోల్ ప్లే చేసి ఉంటారని అనుకుంటున్నాను వాళ్ళ కాంట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఎంతవరకు ఉందండి ఫస్ట్లీ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఐ సిన్సియర్లీ థ్యాంక్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఫర్ షోయింగ్ అప్ సో అర్లీ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ ఇందులో హౌ మెనీ నాన్ తెలుగు స్పీకర్స్ హియర్ సో గైజ్ అబ్సల్యూట్లీ డోంట్ అండర్స్టాండ్ తెలుగు రైట్ సో విల్ డూ అట్ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఐ థింక్ కాంబినేషన్ చేద్దాం లెట్స్ కీప్ ఇట్ హైదరాబాద్ ఎస్ ఎస్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ ఇంగ్లీష్ ఎస్ ఎస్ రైట్ సో firstly thank you thank you to all the ladies for joining us and uh, really appreciate all of you taking the time out mir adigindi vyaktitva vikasanlo unnaru i think every human being eventually be it a man or a woman or whoever it is i think end of the day your uh, life experiences really make you what you are one of the strongest uh, influences on me has been my mother because without a question my father you know was a super busy man Yeah. and of course you know credit where it's due he was uh, you know in public life so i would never understand back then as to why he was missing in action why we, we couldn't see him for so many days but now i'm in his role i'm actually on the other side of the table now so i can relate to what he must have gone through kani nijanga kuda you know growing up with and i didn't spend much time with my mother also nenu 10th class lopale i was in seven different schools and i was in uh, four or five different hostels okay so atla early childhood was uh, very interesting and a, a toughening exercise atla ante um ante aa rojullo i am quite old actually so 47 48 so aa rojullo yeah which is about 30 35 years ago it was it was a it was a different world we didn't have as many amenities as many things as uh, the kids these days do అయితే ఆ రోజుల్లో అప్పుడున్న పరిస్థితుల్లో మా మదర్కి తనకి మా నాన్నమ్మ మా అమ్మ వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో మా నాన్న వాళ్ళ ఇంట్లో తొమ్మిది మంది అక్క చెల్లెలు మా ఫాదర్కి అండ్ యు నో ద సిచ్యువేషన్ యు నో లైక్ టిపికల్ తెలుగు హౌస్ హోల్డ్ వేర్ కోడలు షుడ్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద అందరూ మా వదినలు మా వాళ్ళ మరదలు మా అత్తలు ప్లస్ మా ఫాదర్కి ఇంకో బ్రదర్ ఉన్నారు సో పెద్ద ఫ్యామిలీ వెరీ బిగ్ జాయింట్ ఫ్యామిలీ సో ఇక తనకి అంత పని ఉన్నా తనకి మొత్తం ఒక వైపు ఫ్యామిలీ ప్రెషర్ ఉన్నా బట్ షీ మేడ్ షూర్ దట్ యు నో షీ నెవర్ షోట్ మీ హర్ వీక్నెస్ అ వీక్ సైడ్ ఐ థింక్ దట్స్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మెసేజెస్ ద కిడ్స్ గెట్ ఫ్రమ్ అస్ యూనో దెస్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్సిడెంటల్ లర్నింగ్ అంటే కాకతాళీయంగా నేర్చుకునేది ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది అంటే కూర్చోబెట్టి లెక్చర్ ఇచ్చినట్టు చెప్తే ఏ పిల్లోడు వినడు ఏ పిల్ల వినదు ఎందుకంటే దే ఆర్ నాట్ యూస్ టు యునో అడ్ అడల్ట్స్ ప్రీచింగ్ టు దెమ్ ఇఫ్ యూ సౌండ్ టూ ప్రీచింగ్ దెన్ బేసిక్లీ ignore you and act like they are listening but they won't but how we behave how we kind of uh, um, you know perform in our day to day lives in spite of our pressures in spite of our work pressures in spite of our life pressures in spite of all the existential realities yanni undanga kuda how do you manage to keep a balance i think that is one of the most important things i have picked up from my mother she's a she's gone through a very a tough uh, kind of a early life because i think she was married at the age of 14 mm. my father and mother were married when they were like 14 and 15 so you can imagine yeah. aputlo i guess uh, the act was not there sharada act okay. so aa rojullo when she came in and I, i was in the world already when she was 20 or 21 so you can imagine uh, being a parent at 20 21 you are basically an adolescent and you're already a parent so you can imagine what kind of experience she must have gone through mm. and ejanga kuda lot of credit to her of course and then my wife uh, we've been now married for 20 years almost and she comes from a non political family 
uh, her father was a bureaucrat, uh, he was a retired forest officer. And Amaiki, non political family, Amaiki, political family, Lonte, he looks circus money. Very true. Rose Inclo was the Chuda, bite and Nichapuluna and Chusar, so Inclo in the Mandanar, so Mamilia, Nichel Poly, Nichel Poly. Amaiki, she's Pabu, private, uh, private, 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 at Atlanta, my ki e public life was suddenly thrusted on day. It's a huge challenge, and uh, you know, kudos to her for putting up with me. I think she continues to live with uh, you know all the things that I, all the nuisance that I bring into her life. So thanks to her for her uh, patience and endeavor. And of course, my sister, my daughter. You know, I think my sister again is a fighter. She is a dynamic. Uh, you know, kind of, and possibly my mother family alone. Baga gut sick ko namma yoro ante ma sister an hand out le. Ma under kante aggressive. Then my daughter. My daughter is a sobering influence. She is only 14, but she speaks like a 40 year old woman, and she is very wise. Like when she was like five or six, she told me one day. She said, "Dada, don't have a goal post." I said, "Why?" She said, "No, a goal post kich reach out the then you'll relax. So never have a goal post." Then she told me much later. She's a very smart girl. She told me much later, about uh, three or four years ago, she said, you know, all the wise things I sh used to say those days, uh, you remember, you keep referring to, you know, I picked up all of them from Insta, right? Oh! I said, oh, the original one could not have been said, I could not have been said. So, point in it is, she's a very, very, she's a very calming influence. Yeah. And she's amazingly, she's a, she's a writer. She's already written a couple of books, a very young writer. And she's very creative. And uh, she's one of those really, uh, calming influences in my life and I think uh, my life has changed quite a bit after her. And then of course, I also interact with a number of women leaders. Yes, yes. My day-to-day -day life, in my, in my, in my public life. Um, again, a lot of very, very strong women that I interact with. I can give you an example of one of the leaders in my constituency. Okamai, Sampurna, my Peru. 2014 election law, I was campaigning in Sirsila. So, I Congress candidate I think they erected a barrier or something. I said, fine, okay, village, we will win. So I was going away. Then this girl, she is a leader of our party. She belongs to that village. I didn't know her till then. She comes across, like she literally stops my car. She literally stops my car and she says, how can you not campaign in my village? I am going to take you in. Mundundi, she took me there. She made sure I campaigned. And then I was so impressed with her. As soon as I got an opportunity, because she is she's somebody I didn't know very well of. I made her my agriculture market committee chairman, the very first instance wow. I got. So, very, very strong women leaders. And you know, I also interact with a number of of course, uh, uh, other bureaucrats, mm -hmm. Chief Secretary Gar Goda, she's a women officer, yes. and she's a very, very strong lady, Shanti Kumari Gar. And then uh, I can also tell you that I work with a number of other women. If we have Deepthi Gar, mm -hmm. she, she's somebody I work with closely. My office, I have Katyaini, who's my OSD, again, a very strong lady. I can go on. There's a number of people. But most importantly, what I also look up to, in fact, incidentally, Hyderabad, Nunchi Vachina, we sporting superstars, Andhra Joste, Andhra women. Ah, no. Correct. Sanya, yes. Saina, Saina, Sindhu, now Nizamabad, Nikhat, Zareen, Tarwata, you can see, Guta Jwala, and then uh, there's so many others. Isha Singh now, mm -hmm. uh, Naina Jaiswal. So all of these young women who have done exceedingly well in individual sports, I keep running into them, you know, every so often, Ikadakada, with different events, we meet each other. And then I'm incredibly impressed with their work ethic. Yeah. There's so much to learn from these young ladies, you know, the way they balance their lives. You know, professional sport, giving time there and also giving time to the family, especially if they are married and have children, balancing that out as well. So all of these amazing things. And of course, I also have to mention Mahima Datla, Sujitra Ella. Mm. Again, two women yes. who were talked about quite often during entire COVID episode, Biological Evans and uh, uh, you know, Bharat Biotech. Again, very strong women interact very closely quite often. So Itla, I interact with a number of women and of course, I interact with a lot of uh, Young women who are students, and I go to IT hubs and you know different districts, yeah. interact with a lot of them as well. Some strong, resilient, you know, resilience is what I really you know, I kind of pick up from each of these young women and women. 
and more importantly i think one trait that i would like to imbibe hmm. if if possible that is is the mental fortitude and the mental strength of women that unfortunately men do not have i think uh, we break easy we break easy you guys don't you're stronger uh, mentally and i i do hope that you know we can yes. pick up that especially in elections we need that so hopefully i'll also get to pick up a few of those yeah so ketiya garu mano warm up session ayipindi ippudu koncham serious session ki vellamo okay sir so, 9 and 1/2 years of me me government lo enno skills enno developmental activities enno ches teesukochcharu andulo women inclusivity anedi emanna oka amsham unte adi enti ani anukuntunaru ee 9 and 1/2 years lo to what extent you saw that women really grew exponentially the one question i think women need to ask themselves do you want to be exclusive or inclusive inclusive adhi yeah if you ask me what are the things that you've done exclusively for women there's a bunch of things that yeah. mm. but if it's the larger inclusivity part and what you've done for people at large there's again a huge list of things mm. that we've done prior to 2014 2014 kante mundu you used to i mean i'm not saying they have completely disappeared i would be lying if i did that yeah. you used to read lot of these horror stories like devara kondalo appude kottina biddu nammukunnaru leda old city lo oka ammayi chinna pillaki oka musli arab sheikh tho pelli chesaru itlanti konni stories unnappudu you really i mean no matter you may not have experienced it personally you may not even be a woman or a girl but you'd be shattered you'd be looking at it and saying on a human level be like what is wrong with our society how can this be right and when you see stories like how women have to feed their uh, children knowing fully well that the water is not potable the water is actually causing fluorosis mm. still you have to give the same water because there's no ch- choice like in nalgonda yenni chusina pudu at a at a very human level at a very primordial uh, human being level homo sapien level you feel very insulted yeah you feel as a government can you not get this basics sorted right so one of the most important things that we have done if you ask me is providing portable drinking water connection to each and every home unfortunately in a country like india it's a shame that 75 years after independence a government has to sit and claim that humne pani pilaya isliye humne kuch chappad phad ke kuch kaam kiya that's a basic thing that somebody has to have done long back but nobody did it but we became the first state in india to have given a portable drinking water connection to each and every one of our 10 million homes and then that inspired prime minister and his government mm. to take up har ghar jal campaign which is a good thing so what we have done for example again memo we launched 200 plus schools for minority uh, 100 plus schools for minority young women mm. initially muslim minority and christian minority pillal kosam mem schools launch chestunappudu some people have told us that you know this is not going to work they said no 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 muslim young women don't come out and stay in residential schools ye to nahi chalega but ksr garu didn't listen he said yeah. no it's not the case everybody wants education everybody wants basics to be taken care you're wrong and he went ahead with conviction today i'm happy to report to you all that more than 204 schools have been launched for muslim minorities in which we have nearly 115000 students out of which 57000 are young women wow. and all of them are getting quality education on each child we spend 1 lakh 20000 rupees mm. we take care of all their basic needs books uh, their clothing their basic needs etc etc everything is taken care of. on each child we spend 10000 rupees per month mm. what this has done is now these young women are cracking neat they're cracking iits nits iims i think you train a woman young yes, women yes, especially yes. i think you are literally training a generation of uh, young women who can literally become the beacons of change and the beacons of hope so this is something that is that's truly wonderful that's wonderful if you ask me that's a true achievement the other thing is the other thing is nijanga kuda telangana lo healthcare was bad okappudu cinema lo paatalu rasaru nenu ranu biddu sarkaru davaka davaka the government hospital pote champestaru they are bad today our institutional deliveries in government institutions have increased from 31% to 61% mm-hmm. manaku 60% that time 60% ante first class in case yeah. though there are students here 60% is first class 70% is distinction so our goal is to go beyond distinction and then infant mortality has come down in a big way maternal mortality has come down because of these institutional practices 
more importantly hysterectomies have come down so women's health care and education and and participation and i think these are some inclusive things that we have done at large but there's still a long long I, way I, to I, I still remember ktr garu 10 years back when i was in the mainstream media nenu coverage cheyadaniki ellappudu chaala traumatic ga undedi chaala baadhakaram ga undedi చిన్న చిన్న పిల్లలు తల్లులు అయిపోయి చనిపోయేవాళ్ళు పిల్లలు చనిపోయేవాళ్ళు మెటర్నల్ మొటాలిటీ ఇన్ఫెంట్ మొటాలిటీ అండ్ ఆల్సో మీరు అన్నట్టు షేక్స్కి దుబాయ్ షేక్లకి వాళ్ళకి వీళ్ళకి పెళ్ళిళ్ళు చేసేయటం చిన్న వయసులో ఐ థింక్ ఒక పదేళ్లుగా అది కనిపించట్లేదు దానికి కారణాలు మీరు అన్నట్టు మీరు ఇంప్రూ మీరు పెట్టిన స్కీమ్స్ అయి ఉండొచ్చు ఆరోగ్యలక్ష్మి కేసీఆర్ కిట్స్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ బట్ ఒక విషయం చెప్పండి రెండు వేల పద్నాలుగులో రెండు వేల పద్దెనిమిదిలో ఇప్పుడు రెండు వేల ఇరవై మూడులో మీరు ఏదైతే మ్యాండేట్ పెట్టారో అంటే మీరు మేనిఫెస్టోలో ఇంక్లూడ్ చేసిన విమెన్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ స్కీమ్స్ అనుకుందాం కొన్ని అంటే ఓన్లీ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ విమెన్ కోసం అలాంటివి ఏమైనా పెట్టుంటే ఎంతవరకు వాటిని మీరు సాధించగలిగారు ఎన్ని ఇంకా మిగిలిపోయినాయి ఇంకా చేయాల్సినవి ఎంత ఉన్నాయి అంటే ఒకసారి మీరు ఆలోచిస్తే వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఇది కామన్ విమెన్ అంటే ఒక సామాన్య మహిళ తెలంగాణలో ఆంధ్రాలో రెండు చోట్ల కూడా వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ ఫెడరేటెడ్ సెల్ఫ్ హెల్ప్ గ్రూప్స్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో సో ఐ వర్క్ బ్రీఫ్లీ యాజ్ పంచాయతీ రాజ్ మినిస్టర్ ఐ వర్క్ కంటిన్యూ టు వర్క్ యాజ్ మున్సిపల్ మినిస్టర్ సో ఈ రెండు డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్లో వీ హ్యావ్ ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్ హు ఆర్ ఫెడరేటెడ్ ఇన్ టు సెల్ఫ్ హెల్ప్ గ్రూప్స్ విమెన్ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ సమ్ సూపర్ మార్కెట్స్ యాజ్ అ గ్రూప్ విమెన్ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ సమ్ స్మాల్ బిజినెసెస్ ఇన్ ద రూరల్ హెంటర్ ల్యాండ్ బట్ అంటే మీరు అనుకున్నవి ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేయలేదు see i was just uh, you know reflecting on this yeah. this is young women who just walked up to me mm. her name is uh, amina i don't know where amina is amina mahmood she wrote a book and she wanted to gift it to me and she says mind your mirror <laughs> i was just looking at her name and thinking of there was an amina i don't know you know this uh, yes. story yes yes um, there was an amina in hyderabad who got married to an arab sheikh arab and that sheikh. became worldwide news and now we have an amina who's writing books and completely walked up to her so that in itself i think it's a great story but uh, going back to going back to the manifesto question yes we've done some things mm-hmm. we've done a few things but there's a lot more that needs to be done without a question i'm not trying to evade an answer see for instance we did not promise a women university ex- women's exclusive university in the manifesto but we've delivered it mm-hmm. we did not man- ma- you know promise a kalyan lakshmi and a shaadi mubarak in our manifesto yes. but we delivered it so manifesto is basically a guiding principle mm-hmm. guiding you know a book which basically guides you for governance in the next 5 years but government always has in it to go beyond and above a manifesto and we've done you know things like amma wadi i don't know how many of you are aware of amma wadi amma wadi any concept enti ante literally door step daggar kelli oka pregnant lady ni pick up cheskuni check up ki teesukochi ame kavalsina nutrients anni ichi malli inti daggar digibetti malli tarvata delivery kuda institutional delivery ki picking up from the door step and then dropping her again back along with the child at her doorstep this is the most humane thing that i think my government has done mm. as a result institutional deliveries have increased infant mortality has reduced maternal mortality also has reduced and most importantly young women are getting you know the much needed uh, you know nutritious food mm. and the other thing i also will tell you i'm working on something which is interesting and quite exciting i was told by this company when i, I i'm a industries minister so i meet lot of industrialists and companies so bharat serum ankunta company peru they had come to meet me for their expansion etc so we were generally chatting i know china and nadigan nenu so what do you guys do what is your product he said we are a women's health care company i said what exactly do you do in women's health care because it's a large subject they said uh, we manufacture one of the vaccines which is very very unique and important which is not in india and we just export it i said what do you mean export it he said any women with a negative blood group mm. like b negative o negative a negative uh, rhesus negative uh, blood group has a 14% more chance of a lot of loss of blood and sometimes unfortunately uh, you know mortality rates are also quite high during pregnancy okay they said this can be avoided if we give this vaccine when they turn adolescent 14 or 15 so now i'm trying to work with them and see how telangana can become the first state in india who can wonderful start, uh, wonderful vaccines mm. even if you save a few lives yeah. i think it's useful so these are the things i mean governance is not just about you know being static you have to be dynamic you have to understand what the world is doing what are the best practices across the world 
how can you pick them up and how can you imbibe and do some of So, KTR Garu, I have an important question about it. That's the intent about it. If you have any schemes and developmental activities, they are all rural centric, rural women, uneducated, illiterate, poor women. If you have any questions, they are all rural centric, and I really appreciate that because they are all rural centric. But middle class, above middle class, now I have a lot of women here. I have a lot of concerns which we wanted to be included, inclusive. Inclusive schemes lo, mama ni gula change call ani, ma kori kasi. What do you all say? Yes. So, miru diha plan tu lokar tisko charu. I appreciate. But what else can the government do for you know for women like us? There's plenty to do. In fact, not just diha. Diha and the four exclusive women industrial parks that we have set up are for women. And every industrial park, by the way, has and the four industrial parks ekado na yante. One in Sultanpur, one in Nandi Gaon. One in, I think, Koheda. It's the fourth one as well, which I can't recall right now. But there are four dedicated industrial women parks, which are already up and running. And then in each and every industrial park in Telangana, we have 10% of the plots earmarked for women entrepreneurs. Likewise, Vihab is a first of its kind initiative in the country. And it's only one of its kind, in fact, in the country now, where women entrepreneurs basically are the leaders. They also, of course, employ men um, and also others. So. There's, there's some things we've done, but on the whole, you're right. Rural women ki wala meiru chooste, basic subsistence ko sam chala jeshtu naam. Ontar mahila le pension lante, la pati inka itara tara BD karmik lante, mahila help groups lante, wala ke chese erdi wala ke jeshtu naamu. Kan towns kaadi ko chese erki, you're right, especially middle class and upper middle class, they feel that, you know, we are taxpayers, tax and karthu naamu, maa ke musun, government. One of the things we also do, not just for women entrepreneurs, but women employees at large. Also, is uh, you know the basics, making sure, like to you know keeping our city safe, making our city safe, and also promoting. In fact, one of the things I'm going to propose, and one of the things I'm going to get done next term when we are elected back, is to ensure that uh, you know women also avail loans at a much much you know lower cost. I mean, especially the SMEs, yeah, yeah. small and medium entrepreneurs, the big guys. Big guys, of course, can help themselves, but I think women entrepreneurs especially need a lot of that help. Manufacturing, lo, service sector, lo, bada. that's one of the things I'm proposing to do next term. What are the things that you would love to see in Hyderabad, in Telangana, that are not there elsewhere in the country? Basically, three large hospitals in Hyderabad. Now we are adding seven more and we are doing more Basti Dawa Khanas and we are going to make sure that each of these institutions women focused uh, you know day will be celebrated Arogya Mahila is the program mm. we are going to focus on women's health and make sure that they get the much needed attention and most importantly you know we have been doing uh, you know a lot of safety things especially cyber safety and also physical safety of young women and men, women at large what we have been doing is Barosa centers yeah. what we have also been doing is she teams We've also launched apps like Hawkeye, but I think a lot more needs to be done. So I'm open to ideas, yeah, open yeah. to suggestions, and see how we can constructively take this discussion yeah. forward. So cyber security, Mirinda kai padoshi teams barosa point isko charga bate. Then related point cyber security mein chok maatar daamani. In the past, you have a deep fake video on Rashmika Mandan. You have a deep fake video on the deep fake video. You have a deep fake video on the stringent rules of the government. What about these women, the other women who have no voice? You have a deep fake video on the sufferers, victims. What do you do? Why do you do this? Why do you do general police stations? Sir, why do you do this cyber crime police station? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? See, crime is also changing. Earlier, uh, in Munna, I was sitting with uh, some, some time ago, I was sitting with uh, some of our police officers, Stephen Ravindra Garu, C.V. Anand Garu, Vilandar Toksar, they said something very interesting. They said, Sir, Kapudu, uh, Kuni section Sundeti, decoy tree, Bandi Bolt, but now they have become redundant. Those sections have to be removed from the Indian Penal Code. And they said, New Age crime is also changing. Now, most of the crime is cyber related. And the telephone, social media, WhatsApp, there is a lot of crime. Plus, anonymity, unfortunately, is both good and bad. Sometimes you get good feedback in social media. But sometimes, you know, you start feeling like it is anti-social media. It's not social media. They are so toxic and so abusive sometimes. People, especially those who use bots 
I'm talking about other opponent parties right now. Wal gude baga mamal target jis center. But but I think women are subjected to more humiliation, more body shaming, more uh, you know personalized you know kind of very very uncouth uh, attacks. And chala abusive language lo vulgar ka abuse jis center. Nen gude chala sal choose hai. Nenu because I follow a lot of uh, women yeah. sports stars and other journalists and other people also. When you look at their, sometimes their, and they, they, the, the way they respond when somebody body shames them or says something nasty about the way they've dressed, etc., you feel also insulted, like I said, at a basic human level. One of the things I'm doing, which I think has to be done ASAP, so we are drafting a very strong cybercrime legislation wherein offenders can actually be put in a jail if they actually, you know, outrage the modesty of a woman or a man on social media platforms. We are actually bringing that in. Mm. I know that will be subject to a lot of criticism. Wonderful, sir. No, no, no. no. But it will also I be subject know, to a lot of criticism. So one of the things I am proposing to do is draft a strong legislation. The second thing I am proposing to do, Rendo the Yaman Kutu Nante, 100 undi, 104 undi, 108 undi, three toll-free numbers where somebody can call and basically ask for an ambulance or a fire service yeah. or even GHMC, you have a toll-free nine. You can just call them and tell them that these are the things that are required. I am proposing to set up one single toll-free number for all women-related issues. It could be abuse, it could be social media, it could be any other complaint. Maybe we can have just one single number, again, manned by the government officials in such a way that they can rock it. So say, for example, if the complaint is related to child abuse or domestic violence, it can be routed to the relevant department. Likewise, if the complaint is related to some kind of an incentive on an industrial uh, scheme, it can be routed to the industries department. If it is related to some technology or some social media abuse, it can be related to the cyber crime department. So, atla relay it to a okay, single entry point petali and can make it can be manned by again both men and women. I think one stop shop blog I could put there okay. that will truly be helpful for all of us. What do you guys think? Yes. Sir, actually, Mumbai, Delhi, all are done. Konu konu pranam, one number is the number which again caters to such women of any kind of abuse, abuse, domestic violence, or they they will direct them. If it's already there, one eight. It is there, but it's again it only offers limited uh, services. I'm saying a one-stop number. One eight one is the one-stop uh, number. Exactly, yeah. covers all gamuts of life, including anything that you want to do on your own, education or in general, what are my rights? Mm -hmm. That kind of a thing. Even for mental health, if you ask me, even mental health is a huge subject now. Yeah. mano, we ignore it conveniently. A lot of times, women go through, like for example, postpartum depression. Yeah. People just take it very, very easily. But you know, and there is not enough counselling that happens. These are all the things. I mean, even adolescent young women, mm. they can't talk. They can't talk, they won't talk to others. They go through their own series of issues. The only people they kind of lean on to is their friends, peer group. So, Atla, what are all the things that we can cover? Then maybe come out with a solid solution. Again, if it has to be run by women, so be it. Because you understand uh, each other better. It can be done that way or it can be a universal kind of thing where we can include everybody. Sir, Pru, Chalamandi homemakers and uh, college kelle pillalu alage illallo unde old women itla ilanti chaala mandiki konni konni chinna chitaka concerns unnai ade entante last mile connectivity avvachu lekapothe uh, safety on the roads avvachu lekapothe ivanni kaakapoyina kuda illallo kuda konni homemakers vaalla health vaalla wellness gurinchi vaallu concern undi vaallaki kaani ekkadiki vellali ekkada cheskovali how to go to a gym ante chaala mandiki adhairyam undadu to go to an open gyms so, ilaga, ilanti uh, women ko some safer places, secured places, in, increasing the security services. Ide mai na possible hoto na. No, I'll do coming. one thing. I'll do one thing. Now, I, that's a great idea. C can we do this? See, let's not make this an election thing. Yeah. I'm confident I'll win. Don't worry. I'm coming <laughs> back. Usme koi, usme koi shakti. Because we've done good work. I'm winning back. I have no doubt in my mind. I don't think uh, even opposition knows this, but they are generally acting smart. But, but having said that, having said that, I don't want to sound too uh, boorish, but <clears throat> we can do one thing. Mm. If you guys agree, let's set a date. Let's set a date in December, uh, prior to 15th, yeah. in between 3rd and 15th, you pick a date, let me know. Bring in some ideas, brainstorm, 
bring in some ideas i will make a women manifesto for the next 5 years wow amazing no i i will make this yes. i promise you this i promise you this there are n number of things that can be done like you said you're absolutely right gated community lo unte oka gym untundi akkada you have a secure feeling so you go what about outside of gated communities in colonies in bastis in slums my corporator from sita phal mandi is here this lady this young lady needs introduction her name is samala hema she used to be a google employee she is now a phd am my phd would just in monane she came in on her own and she is now our corporator from sita phal mandi a young woman who sh- you should certainly watch out for she has a lot of promising future and it can't am my look politics look could raval can't just be about uh, you know uh, just you know being entrepreneurs and other things it also is about participation in political system as well of course i'll get some criticism on that i know dan gurinchi kuda maatladtanu kaani what i'm promising you is between 3rd december uh, when we win the election and 15th because i need a break also a madhyalo a madhyalo let's pick a date let's pick a date and you guys in the meantime brainstorm a bit come out with an agenda for the uh, the road ahead for next 5 years women gyms pettali women university okatundi inka education ni health ni etla center stage ki teesukon raavali last mile connectivity my dream is also to have hop on hop off shuttles meaning electric buses petti meer station lo digangane oka 3 4 km radius lo free service going home should be easy if you should not again feel that nenu malli akkada digi nadichukunta povali ante madhyalo oka mukru nalugu vedavulu untaru ఇట్లాంటి నాన్ సెన్స్ ఉండకూడదు ఉండకూడదు అంటే యూ షుడ్ ఫీల్ సేఫ్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ దీస్ వెహికల్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ బేసికలీ అగైన్ ఫుల్లీ ఎక్విప్ విత్ సెక్యూరిటీ కెమెరాస్ అండ్ ఇన్స్టలేషన్స్ వేర్ ఇఫ్ సంబడి డస్ సంథింగ్ నాన్ సెన్స్ అండ్ న్యూ సెన్స్ ఇట్ షుడ్ బీ ఇమీడియట్లీ రిపోర్టెడ్ అండ్ యాక్షన్ షుడ్ బి టేకెన్ సో అందులో కొన్ని చేయొచ్చు కొన్ని మెల్లీ చేయాలి కాబట్టి వీ నీడ్ టు ఫిగర్ అవుట్ వాట్ కెన్ బి డన్ ఇన్ ద షార్ట్ టర్మ్ మీడియం టర్మ్ లాంగ్ టర్మ్ హౌ కెన్ బీ డ్రా అవుట్ అ మ్యాప్ and say to the communicate to the rest of the country that this is something we are doing okay. and the uh, rest of india can follow